Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome back to Mom and Me. Today I'll be sharing my hair care routine and show you the entire process. Also, I will try and answer your questions regarding the products I use on my hair, my experience on hair coloring, my hair loss, etc. I won't be giving any suggestions or tips, but only share my personal experience and routine. As obviously, I am not a hair expert to be able to recommend you guys on your hair issues. So let's get started. I want this video to be real and hence let me show you my real natural hair. I have washed my hair yesterday and I let it dry naturally. I did not use any product or hair straightener so that I can show you how my hair really is. So as you can see my natural hair is very wavy and not straight at all. I do have grey hair here and there but let's not forget guys that I got my hair coloured few months ago and I had many more grey hair back then which was the main reason why I got my hair coloured. Now let's talk about my hair oil. I use homemade hair oil the recipe of which I have shared twice on my channel but I will include it here as well just in case you missed it in past videos. So to make hair oil I will take coconut oil and use this as my base oil. I will heat it on medium flame and once it's little hot I will add few stems of aloe vera cut into small pieces half cup of basil or tulsi leaves, one big cup of curry leaves and I will fry these in the coconut oil. Make sure to fry them on low to medium flame otherwise it will get burnt. You want them brown and crisp and not black and burnt. It will take around 15 minutes for it to get nice and golden brown. After around 15 minutes turn the flame off and add half cup kalonji or onion seeds. I have also crushed few pieces of camphor and added to it. Also a quarter cup of fenugreek or methi seeds. Now stir them well for a minute before adding few other oils. I will be adding mustard oil, castor oil, neem oil, almond oil and olive oil. Now let this rest overnight before sieving it to a bottle next morning. You can add little more or little less of any oil based on your requirement. You can alter this hair oil based on what condition you are going through. Say for example, curry leaves reduces hair fall. So if you are experiencing hair fall, add more curry leaves. Aloe vera keeps hair hydrated, reduces split ends and breakage due to dryness. So if you have dry and frizzy hair, add more aloe vera and so on. I will provide more details of each and every oil in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. If you are making this hair oil for summer months, I would recommend adding more coconut oil and if you are making it for winter months, I would suggest adding more mustard oil, otherwise coconut oil will freeze in winters. I would warm the hair oil a little before applying it to my scalp as it gets absorbed better and quicker if the oil is little warm. I started using this hair oil almost 2 years ago and this oil is the only reason why my hair is growing so long. I have never had long hair in my entire life. It's first time ever and trust me receiving so many requests for a hair care routine was no less than a compliment for me. So thank you guys for asking me my hair care routine and also observing my hair. I also use this hair oil on my daughter's hair and her hair grow like crazy too. She had very less hair when she was born but after application of this oil her hair growth is much much better. I did chop her hair um, I think last year as she would cry to take tangles off and it's been a year since I cut her hair and her hair has grown long again so i can say from experience that this is a good actually not good but great hair oils and you must give it a try
Now let's talk about hair color. So I was thinking to get my hair highlighted or full coverage. I was quite confused because highlights are much worse than full coverage. But then I thought, hang on, I have a good hair oil. And it's only because of this hair oil that I took the risk of getting my hair colored. It's actually second time in my entire life that I've got my hair highlighted. I think the first time I got my hair highlighted was about like 10-15 years ago and my experience from back then was that my hair got very brittle, rough, dull, dry, full of split ends and let's not talk about crazy hair loss but this time around it's not as bad as I would say. After highlights I'm experiencing hair loss but hair growth at the same time. It does not feel very dry and freezy but definitely experiencing some split ends so thinking to chop off few inches very soon. Having said that I still feel my hair has luster and shine and it is not very dry, dull and frizzy I would say. So overall getting highlights ruin your hair much much more than full coverage. As for getting highlights your stylist need to bleach them which is the real culprit in damaging your hair more than the actual color. So next time I will go for full coverage and not the highlights. Now so that I have applied the hair oil, I will go and wash my hair. I usually keep it around for one full day but as I'm filming today, I will go and wash and share my post hair wash routine as well. Also I wash my hair only once a week, no more than that. Now let's look at my hair routine and the products I use. Before I go and wash my hair, let me show you what products I use on my hair. I use a shampoo, a conditioner, a serum and a hair moisturizer or mask. I use Glow Lab shampoo which I bought from Woolworths, just a supermarket, not any fancy shop. Why I use this is not because of the brand or anything but just the fact that it is sulfate free. So anytime you pick a shampoo only make sure it is sulfate free as sulfate lives as a layer as a thin layer on your hair which grows over the time and builds up that layer thick making your hair dry and frizzy. Now this is something my hairdresser told me when I went for hair color last year and since then I'm using this shampoo. So make sure Sure to find a sulfate free shampoo. I also use the conditioner of the same brand as it's free from sulfate too. It also works as a detangler which is a win-win for me as my hair gets tangled so much especially after it has grown long it just gets tangled and I hate to comb it. This is a live-in conditioner so I will apply it not in the shower but when I come out and I will show you that in a bit. I also apply a serum. This serum I bought when I visited India two years ago and as you can see I need a new one and I gotta buy another one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to buy yet. Maybe I'll share that in future. Lastly, this is a new product on my list which is a hair mask or moisturizer. This was suggested to me by the hairdresser who was coloring my hair. She used a moisturizer on my hair and I asked her if this was a serum and she said no, it wasn't a serum but a moisturizer. So I asked her what it does and I was told that it keeps your hair moist obviously and keep it hydrated and avoid dry and frizzy hair so i bought it as well and i use it every now and then i don't use it every time but maybe a couple of times a month so that's all the products i use on my hair currently Now I will go and take shower and show you what styling equipment I use. So this is my hair dryer. I bought this almost 5 to 6 years ago and it is doing a good job so far so not planning to replace it anytime soon. 
for ironing my hair i use ghd gold hair styler my husband actually gifted this to me soon after we got married he bought it from an airport duty free shop as a surprise as he knew i always wanted a ghd and i was using remington before which worked fine too I use hair dryer every time I wash my hair but I do not use hair iron each time hair iron touches your hair directly and it damages your hair much more than a dryer so try and straighten your hair using a dryer where possible and only keep straighteners for occasional use So the very first product I use on my hair after I wash my hair and before I start drying is the leave-in conditioner. Then I will blow dry my hair. Once my hair is about about dry like half dry, then I will use the serum and comb the hair. I do not comb wet hair as otherwise it breaks a lot more. So I dry it a little before combing it and serum detangles it so even less breakage. Now this is where I would normally stop on weekly basis and apply the hair moisturizer if I feel my hair is too dry not always though You're gone now Oh you're coming back You know that You know that You're the traveling kind It's a known fact Yeah I know that So that's about it guys this is the exact process i would repeat next week and the week after and the week after and have been doing this since years now but the only difference is the hair shampoo and conditioner and the serum they keep on changing from time to time i definitely don't follow any particular brand but whatever i feel like buying i hope you enjoyed watching this video and got the answers you were looking for and for those viewers who ask specific questions like about postpartum hair loss or pcos hair loss i am extremely extremely sorry i'm no expert to give you an expert advice here i have no idea about pcos or of course i have gone through postpartum hair loss but i knew this is going to happen and i never worried about it on that note i will sign off today and i shall see you in my next video bye for now I